cool. What's up? What's crack a lacking? I let that play for like a millisecond. Whew. So yeah. Today's been quite a day. How you guys doing? I'm gonna get started. It's kind of early, but whatever. I tend to do that. It's thereabouts. It's roughly 10. That's why I make a point to never say I'm starting exactly at 10. Unless I'm actually ready to make an effort to do that. Whew. I also <coughs> moved where chat is. So hopefully it won't distract me as much because I have a bad habit of, um, you know, tr like trying to talk about something and then I see someone says something and then I like get cut off as if you guys are actually like here conversing with me. It's really bizarre. Okay. Last time, I think I got some potions here, some super potions because that's all they had. And I'm just gonna, just gonna go right in here, see what uh, I can do. We're probably, <clears throat> we're probably gonna see this guy's speech about 20 more times, honestly. I don't feel like grinding anymore, but I feel like I probably am supposed to be right now. to get used to using potions. That's going to be the hard part. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound like I'm clearing my throat and stuff. I just kind of gobbled down dinner real quick because I got home a little late. strong attack. Actually, that's probably fine, but... I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna... I don't know how fast I'm compared to him. But I bought pen plenty of potions, so I should be fine. Is everything running all right? Let me know if there's any problems. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna say that every time until, until I know that you guys are automatically gonna do it. Alright, 
so far. But it usually does until I fuck up royally. So I'll just wait until that part. So I saw that there were some Pokemon leaks. Was that today or was that yesterday? I'm losing, uh, using grip of time or grasp of time, whatever I'm trying to say. I just know that it happened, and whenever something like that happens, I always see the aftermath. I'm never there when it's actually happening. I'm probably asleep or something. This seems like the time that I want to switch. Watch it not be the right time. I learn nothing. Just a heads up, I just I learn absolutely nothing. But yeah, I saw a little bit of the leak stuff. They're trying to it seems like Game Freak or Nintendo is trying to pull a lot of that down. Because there's a video that was unavailable to watch. God, this is hellish. Starter evolutions look kind of terrible in my opinion, but I'll have to give him a better chance when I'm actually playing the game. Because I pre-ordered it so long ago. Basically when they announced it, I was like, this is too dope to pass up on. And I just pre-ordered it. It's just a really cool idea for the Pokemon team to be exploring a a spin-off sort of thing, but have it be a main game, apparently. At least that's what they're saying it is. Does that lower uh, anything? That doesn't do anything, I don't think. It just makes them flinch sometimes. It does about the same damage as Rock Smash, it looks like. This is shitty because it's just gonna he's just gonna heal this one, right? I might have to do the classic uh, off camera grind for this. Again. I just remember brute forcing my way through this when I was younger. And it wasn't unfun. Or maybe I just put the game down and didn't play it until way later. And then I had fun because I only played it when I wanted to play it. That sounds more right. Let's try nature power and see what that does. I didn't even get to get the nature power in. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's try this. Try the classic. Um, that always leads to failure. If I do yawn, it'll still be asleep. Even if there's a super potion used on it, so. gonna be another silent stream like uh, that one stream I had a few times ago. Whoa, okay. That was that was unexpected. Thank you for that, Darth Vader. That's amazing. Now how is this gonna go?
kind of scared for this one. It can't go worse. This can't be worse than Magna Magna Tum, right? I don't think it'll be worse. This is just bigger electric. Oh, but he'll, he'll still probably use the potion. Does he only have one potion? Is that the deal? Why do I specifically remember potions being used in black and white? Were they particularly annoying in black and white, or is that just a, a memory that I'm having for no reason? Critical hit. God, if he uses the potion, I'm gonna be so upset. I woke up. That's all right, I think. Slack off. Just the one time I'm gonna ask you to do that. Oh. Um. Whoopsie. Let's see what Democrats can do. Poison sting might be good. That's ideal. That's ideal right there. Oh, I think I might have this. Oh, that sucks, but I think I might have this. Still, even. How much does that do? Nothing. That does basically nothing. Poison Sting did more than that. Right? Poison sting. You know what? I have the potions at my disposal. I might as well use some more. That will give me at least a little bit longer. Yeah. It's the moment of truth to see if he has another potion. By the way, is. Is Diddy Kong Racing worth playing on on the stream? Or is that just like a multiplayer fun game? Should I wait until maybe I can get a bunch of friends to either play that? Or would it be fine playing that one player? Another potion? played Diddy Kong Racing in literally forever. I have no memory of it. I only remember the intro music. My, po my Pokemon fainting. My Pokemon fainting. I think only the in intro music. Because I never owned it, and I don't think anyone I knew owned it, but I went to Boys and Girls Club after school. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I guess it's just a place to hang out after school for a little bit. And they had that there. And I didn't get many chances to play it, I don't think, but I have the memory of watching other people playing it. And it was probably my favorite game for a while, because it was just exciting playing a game with other people there. No. It was so close. That 
was stupid close. I could have just cheated and used a bunch more potions. Honestly, I could have just used all my potions. I'm not gonna save after that. <sighs> That's insane, bro. This close. This fucking close, man. Who would I have played in that game? What character would I have played as in that game? Probably Monty, right? I seem like a, a Monty, a Monty player, a Monty main. On that note, I'm actually curious to see. I'm just gonna look a little bit at Diddy Kong Racing. Um, I, I don't know, character select. That'll just bring up the music, probably. Extra character select themes. Character voice, all right. I'm Diddy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna look at the lineup here. Um, <laughs> we're gonna look up, look at the lineup here and, and see who, who would appeal to me as a baby. Diddy. Diddy. That's that's Monty. That's Monty over here. Conquer. Oh, Tip Top. I would totally play Tip Top now. Tip Top's just fucking cool. Hey, it's Tip Top. Hey, it's Tip Top. <laughs> Can you play as the? Is that an unlockable character? <laughs> Whoa. That's got to be unlockable, right? What's her name? Pipsy. Tim Timber? I don't know. Hey. Alright, his his track goes a little ridiculous. Let's roll that back. I'm banjo. <laughs> That's pretty good. Poopa? Did he just wink at me? He, did he just wink? He did. Was that intentional or was that a glitch? Oh, he just blinks with different eyes. Huh. That's interesting, to say the least. I'm, I probably would have picked Banjo, depending on, depending on when I played it in my life. Because I Can liked Banjo. All right. I did, <laughs> this is kind of just like cutting right into this. We were on episode three of this. We watched one and two. I don't know if there's a coherent story. I haven't been paying en enough attention to tell you that, but uh, it's just really pretty animation, and it's 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 a fun little thing to watch. I think. Um, if you guys think that I should be paying more attention to these, let me know, cause then I'll watch them on my own. But yeah. check out Lee's Charizard. The challenger is B, a master of Gallo Karate. B. Against the strongest of them all, our champion, Leon. <laughs> the champion is amazing. I'm so proud of my big bro. Check it out, Wulu. In order to become the league champion, you gotta be able to do this. Check it out! Right here! Charizard's flamethrower is so powerful! It is pretty cool. So cool! Flamethrower is amazing! I said that. <laughs> isn't it, Are you pretending isn't to be Charizard? To be bigger? Wooloo, you're not a fire-type Pokemon. Just a little bit, right? I thought it was supposed Look to be half his height. In the air. Lee and Charizard are unbeatable. It's like a third of his height. What are you doing? Is it gonna roll? No. It's just gonna face plant. <laughs> right now, Wulu's only moves are tackle and defense curl. We're not gonna catch up to them like this. Okay, time to study more of their matches. One day, I'm gonna challenge the Pokemon League. Am I the only person who hasn't seen side. these? Has right, everyone Wooloo? else already seen these? Uh, uh? Wulu? <laughs> My boy got the limited edition Charizard action figure.
feels weird that I changed the game. I probably should have made it just chatting, but this is just gonna take a few minutes to watch this. The, the cement? Not the cement. The floor, the ground looks really good. The way they drew it. That breathing thing? Do that breathing thing you do so well. Yo, Breath of the Wild Pokemon? This predicted... This predicted Pokemon Legends? Who's... They're touching... They're touching grass! This is Breath of the Wild. Where did you come from? Oh, did you run off from somewhere? I'm glad it had that because I'm sure someone is very worried about that. That would have been right upsetting. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Will I think this was a good idea. To the address on having its tag? these, did it get lost? Because <laughs> it breathes more life into Sword and Shield. What? Don't you want to go home? <laughs> Those games had a lot of controversy okay, then, around them for various reasons, and this makes it feel more like a like a okay, tangible okay, place, okay, you know. Oh, thank you. Some of the elements that the game was lacking in this this uh, kind of makes up for. Why is the singer sounds like it's. Sounds like she's crying. <laughs> I know this has nothing to do with anything, but I was just thinking about Sh Dub Dub Shrek or Shrek Step. Wulu! Where did you go, Wulu? I just remembered those Wulu! existed. Because I listened to them in middle school, and I could never find them again after that. Like, I would listen to them basically on a daily basis. They were so funny. And then I looked them up a few years ago, and I just couldn't find them again. Sound that, only you can that do. Cool. I know it, Wulu. He's supposed to sound more late. Let's go to the Pokemon League together. I want him to sound like he's five or something. Wulu, it has to be with you. Looks like we need to land, Corviknight. <sighs> Whoa. Oh my God. That's. <laughs> Wulu, I was hell? so worried about you. How did? Is that safe? Acting like Charizard again? You're perfect just the way you are, Wulu. <laughs> Looks like it's all right. Huh? Do you need a ride? This dude, is this dude the protagonist? That Wulu really took me by surprise. I guess the, it gives I the series name to jump more out. meaning, but... You and that Wulu must really share one powerful bond, am I right? Huh? Thing? Is this our trainer red? This guy with the Corviknight. Corviknight's such a cool Pokemon though. I guess if there was any Pokemon for them to follow in a, a mini series like this, Corviknight is the perfect one. <gasps> Quillfish. Nessa. I guess the next story is about Nessa, huh? Did they hint, uh... Oh yeah, they probably did hint him at the end of the previous one. So that's cool. That's a cool thing. <laughs> is that a... Is this a jarring, um, Be Right Back screen, or... 
because I was my intention was to find a different one for each, not each stream, but most streams to have a different one, and then I stopped finding pictures to use, um, or fitting pictures. I guess I mean. So I just kind of stuck with this one for now. I, it's just funny to me. So I I haven't had an issue with it. I'm not a huge fan of the game or of Monty, but I think it's funny. It's a very good picture. That's seconds before he dies, right? All right, so we're switching on over. Like promised to I almost said Breath of the Wild Breath of the Wild. And I almost mispronounced Breath of the Wild. Cause I can't find there it is. Hopefully it gives us no trouble this time. Oops, I clicked off of both things that I was trying to interact with. Um Okay. Bird of the wild. I said, bird of the wood. Here it is. Breath of the wild. Classic edition. Hero edition quest. Hero edition quest. I wanted to change what I said, but I, I stuck with it because it, it's pretty good. So here we are in high rule. Questing and such. How does it look? I already have 99. I don't have to collect anymore. How did I do that, by the way? I just started this game and I already have 99. I guess it's not that hard. Huh. I gotcha. Gotcha. Am I allowed to stream the entirety of... I? There's no way I'm not allowed to do that, right? One day I have to stream Fesh Pints and Fesh Pints too. Okay. I'm so scared of, of, of the stream going wrong because it messed up that one day. Also, why can I see underneath the earth? And also, why is the skybox like that? Has it always been like that and I just never noticed? You see that? It's like an actual box. That's supposed to be like that? Probably, right? Hey. I'm just noticing, because I think because it's a bigger screen and it's a higher resolution, I'm noticing all these weird model stuff and, and, and background stuff that I wouldn't have noticed playing otherwise. Like his weird little paper shield. <laughs> that becomes bulky when he's close. It's seamless when it turns into paper though. I just know that when I'm looking down at him sometimes it just is a paper shield. So I don't know what the last thing I did last time was. Did I get... I got the... Oh, is that the Goron place, right? Speaking of, of abbreviations, I can't believe that that um, Twitter added uh, a, a bullseye, a bullseye feature. That's crazy they added that today. Because what, what do they think is going to happen when you make specific NFT profile pictures? Everyone's just going to bully them. And that's what's been happening. They've been... Everyone with those profile pictures are just going to end up getting ratioed all the time. And they're just going to feel shitty about themselves. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I don't... What did they... Did they... Are they doing that on purpose or something? How did that not hit me, first of all? Second of all, I think I remember what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh. 
The controls of this game really still hold up because it might look kind of weird at parts. And I'm noticing more things that make the visuals age worse, but it's really responsive and, the, and it, it's fun. It's fun game. Fun out of 10. Except that. Why the fuck did that happen? Oh, sorry, dude. Um. Oh, it worked, though. Okay. I thought that was just gonna straight up kill that dude. Can I get rid of that, first of all? Oh. Is that what I'm supposed to do, or did I just outsmart the game? So there's a spot there to plant a beans. To plant a beans. See, I was met with a wall like this in, uh, are these just explosive walls, or are they just doors and I'm stupid? They're just doors, right? Oh. So I missed something in the Deku tree, didn't I? Dodongo dislikes smoke. I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. <laughs> Navi's like, we can't bomb any Dodongos yet. You have to listen to me. How do you reflect? Oh, you can't reflect these at all. I thought there was like an item or something. Can you use the mirror mirror shield to do that? Oops. Get on there, buddy. What's flying around? What am I hearing? Uh, yeah, cool. There's like a not the f not the bat flying. I hear like a hovering sound. Is that just the machinery and these weird pillars? Oh, that's a yeah. Everything that I've seen coming out about NFTs has just been more uh, fuel for people to to bully like NFT bros. And I'm not I'm not gonna say that I'm for it, but I'm I just don't really care either way about them, which I think kind of ruins the purpose that they give to them. They're like, oh, they're so cool because it's a Really, the, the only thing that gives them value is pe when people care about them, right? That's where the value comes from, apparently. I have no clue. That's what I've heard. It's, the value. it's like getting skins in, in Fortnite is what I've heard it compared to. And that's by someone who's defending them, I think. Someone was defending them and he was like, you know those cool skins that you get in Fortnite? That's basically what NFTs are. Just 10 billion times more expensive. It's like, what do you, why, what's, what's the point? If no one online, if the major, okay, a few people probably care about them, but the majority of people online don't care about them. So, what's the point of, of owning them? I guess to sell to the people who care about them? It's like Pokemon cards, but you can't play with them. And a lot of them are hideous, too. Pokemon cards are usually beautiful. Like, they have really nice art and stuff. But I, I saw... I've been watching um, Bionic Pig. And he was he was watching, like, a Crypto Land video. Oh. God, is, is that embarrassing for crypto people? Have you seen that video? Oh shit. Well, that's just how I play, I guess. I'm just gonna die, that's alright. Oh, I totally dodged him by mistake. His, me 
is metaverse um i haven't heard much about the healing i don't know what it is is it like a is it like a vr thing or something because metaverse seems like it's crypto related in some capacity but um if you look up crypto land on youtube there's like a weird trailer sort of thing that's just terrible it's animated like like someone who didn't have eyeballs animated it it looks i can't even think of how to describe it other than that it looks like something that like a middle school um computer teacher would would animate for his students like here you guys can make something like this if you learn how to animate as well as me and then he just makes like a, a shitty freaking horrible disgusting animation it looks like that like just the most mediocre thing that is really obnoxious to look at also i watched um the first episode of the bored ape show or whatever and that's horrendous as well what does this guy have I just remember never buying anything that he has, so I'm not gonna bother checking. Yeah, the board ape show. That's humiliating. I'm I get secondhand embarrassment from watching that. I can't wait to bomb some Oh wait, I gotta bomb it. Just like I promised. That did nothing. He looks. The coin dude looks like the food from Jimmy New. Do you mean like the pizza from Jimmy Neutron? Oh, I forgot to explode. Did they even drop anything? God, he looks so bad. And the way that they. See, what, something about animation is if you're gonna make an animate. It, it breaks so many animation rules. If you're gonna make like an anthropomorphic or like a living um, inanimate object, you're gonna wanna have it keep some qualities about itself. Like for the coin, you can move his arms and stuff, you can move even his face, but when you stretch his, because they stretch the coin part of him a lot, right? Like he twists and contorts and it just looks terrible. For if you're animating a coin person at least have the coin part of them stay you know still stay stationary that's my one rule that's the one i'm i'm not even i've never gone to any animation class so i have no clue but that just seems like a common sense thing and you're if you're gonna contort it keep that in in like 2d Keep that in the two-dimensional space because 3d animation is already really jarring and and it's a touchy subject for me at least because i was not a fan of 3d animation for so long i don't even remember what my first uh 3d movie that i've actually enjoyed was i've enjoyed them but i, I was never passionate about them I swear, if it was into the Spider-Verse... What are some good 3D animated movies? Because I don't want to feel like I just recently gave them a chance. I didn't give Frozen a chance, but that's not because it was 3D. That's just because I didn't have money to go to the theater, and everyone was talking about it, and it was annoying. And then when I finally did watch it, it was so boring. So... I definitely didn't understand the hype for that. Dope. I don't I don't need to talk to that guy. That guy's selling NFTs, I don't need I don't need what he's selling. Oh, this part always confuses me. 
I don't know why. You just place it in the middle, right? I'm sorry if you can hear my hiccups. Just place it, I think, right there. Hi, Navi. How are you? How are you today? I feel like a part of me did enjoy Jimmy Neutron, though. Like, I thought the, I thought the animation was really gross and weird. But I feel like I got some laughs out of it anyways. And back to the subject of crossovers. I definitely liked the Jimmy Jimmy Power Hour, even if it wasn't as... It wasn't really all that good, probably, but... Crossovers are just... They just get me. And speaking of crossovers... Since I pulled you into that little th uh, thing with the anime pony figures, have you? Did you see the? Um, you probably definitely did because I saw it way too late. But the uh, the pony and Transformers crossover comic that probably came out in like freaking 2017 or something. Oh, there it is. How can I even... Is there... An... There's another one over there. Am I gonna get the... Bo... I don't get the boomerang here, right? They were last year? That's crazy. I feel like I might have... Cause I I found it when I was going to a I was going to a retro game store. I hope the next place I move to is near a retro game store, cause I'm kind of obsessed with those. I don't always I usually don't buy many things there, but they always have little knickknacks, like weird little uh, oddity comics, and you know. It might be a good place to check out for amiibos and accessories. My shield is gone. Do I have my other shield? I did not get another shield. That's fine. I don't need it. But yeah, I went to a retro uh, game store. I think that time I picked up... Uh, I picked up, I don't know if they're actually called retro game stores, the ones that I like, because they don't, a lot of the stuff that they have is like old movies and stuff as well, but I think they still go by that same, uh, same term, still applies. But I got Princess Mononoke, I think, that time. And then I saw that comic and I was like, okay, this is just crazy. I have to get this. And then I'm pretty sure you're right. I looked at the date and I was like, no, there's no way I, fo I found this the year it came out after not looking into pony stuff for so long. And then now I'm just fully prepared to indulge again and get the those... Uh, Bishu, what are they called? Bishu, Bishoju? Bishoujo figures? Because to be fair, I have the, uh, the Chucky ones. And I was considering getting some of the other horror ones. But it's... What sucks about them... Yeah, Previewer is back. <laughs> what sucks about the figures is... They're, I, I'm not going to say they're not reasonably priced because they are, but they, it adds up. If you're trying to collect a bunch of them, it all adds up. There's like so, oh, there's a little, it's not a place. That's stupid. Why do they include that into the game? Yeah, that would be wild if I got if I got my old OC commissioned again by someone. Why did I do that? 
Why'd I push that in there? I'm I'm mostly considering just getting the Hatsune Miku one. Cause even though I don't really know that much about Hatsune Miku, and I'm not even really a fan of Hatsune Miku, um, it, that just feels like the obscurity item out of all of them. So it feels less wrong for me to, cause sure I can collect just the characters I like, but it feels weird just having a few of the characters or one of the characters. Did I not go this way already? Oh. Fuck. Boing boing. I need to find a website that shows, um, just has like really obscure items all over it. There's probably ones that are very popular, but I just like collecting obscure things. Like who thinks to, to own a, an anime Chucky the doll figure? That's just a, a weird little thing. What else? What else do I have that's weird? I don't know. I just like having figures of characters I like too. Like Skull. I have a Skull Kid figure. Yeah, there's one of Leatherface. Oops. There's one of. Uh, there's one of most characters. Did they make a uh, Ghostface one? I saw an Edward Edward Scissorhands one, and I have to watch that movie still. But I was considering getting that one. There's uh, a few Jason ones, I think. There's Freddy versus Jason. The one thing that I don't like about most of those figures, though, is they don't have the deformities of the original characters. They just try to make them blemish-free. You know what I mean? That's a weird way of putting it, but that's the only thing I can think of saying about them. Like, why would they... Why would Leatherface not have a leather face? Why would Jason not wear his mask on his face? I think I'm, oh, no, 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 no. Don't go down the ladder. I'm still, did you mute that? <laughs> did you mute that tweet? Because I'm still getting uh, notifications from it. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have said anything at all. Because it's oops. Oh, um, part of me was expecting that to stay on the ledge. Yeah, it's just still going. Oops. I always do that. I always overshoot it and then I undershoot it. This time it's going to be perfect. I'm going to know this time for sure. Oh god, I placed it. That would have been really good though if I had thrown that. It's gonna take a few hours, don't mind me. This Peshojo rendition of Leatherface can be seen wearing only a shirt. Pulling attention to Bubba Sawyer's large body, <laughs> which has been adapted to a voluptuous physique. See, here's the thing. You can't... I don't even think it has a large body. I don't think it. the figure even has a large body. It just has like a one of the skinny girl bodies. You can't say that it has a that he has a large body still.
I think that's my problem with a lot of the figures. It's like, sure you're making a, a a cute female version of the character, but it still has to look like the character. You can't just make the same character over and over and then just give it clothes from another character. It doesn't make it a different character. Oh, I don't have a shield. This sucks. Come here, bro. Oh, God. Okay. Just come here. If you want to fight me, just come here. Yeah. Oh, I tried to... I tried to block with the shield. Shit, um... my shield you can't have shit in Hyrule bro fight me here shit um drop a heart or two or don't oh yeah that's where you fight them earlier that's a cool detail. I wonder why they like to fight in this area in particular. Oh god! Oh man, um... That was a little cringe, bro. Is the other one still gonna be dead when I go back up there? What if he jumps down here? Jump down here, man. Oh my god! Yo, he's freaking out. He's having a party up there without me. That's crazy. Why the fuck is he partying up there? Wait, the Leatherface figure is kind of thick. I gotta rewatch. Oh. I forgot my health was that low. <laughs> I forgot I had a fairy too. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh man. I went back to the same area again. Okay, maybe that's where I came from. I don't know. I don't even remember how to get back up there. This feels right? This feels right? Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can convince our, um,. Our little uh, group to watch more movies than just the Mario movie, but I I watched the Mario movie last night, and at the end I was like, I probably said this a million times. I don't know if I said it to you, but I probably said it in my review as well. There's just after I was done watching the movie, I didn't feel like fulfilled or anything i didn't feel like i had was enlightened in any way but i couldn't think of n that many negatives for the movie and then i could think of a bunch of positives the only f there are only a few negatives like um i don't care that it's not like it's not like the games that's a good, that's a strength of the movie, if you ask me, because the games do not have enough, even today, to really make a movie off of. Your life wasn't changed by punk rock Toad. He, that's the sad part, he only lasted a few seconds. He, oh, but, God, he has such a cool design in the, uh, in the sequel. They made a comic sequel that I learned about. This is why I got so like into it because at first I didn't really care. F uh, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't. I didn't care for it. Like I was like, oh, this is a cool little world they made, and it, it's kind of funny and charming, and and the characters are weird and weird stuff happens that you wouldn't expect in Mario, and stuff that shouldn't happen in Mario. Let's be honest, but um. Then someone told me that they found out there's a comic sequel 
there's a there's a Super Mario Brothers 2 but in comic form made by the writers of the movie so basically it's it's canon it's part of the movie canon but it's not official I would say it's a really bizarre thing and toad it looks like toad I only looked at the designs and stuff and a few of the pages it looks like toad is still like a goomba but he wears oh my god he wears like a mask and a helmet that makes him look like a mushroom and I was like that is such a smart idea because he has the he has a small head and then it leads up into the mushroom it just works really well with the goomba design Atrocious fighting. I'll admit it. It's just atrocious the way that I'm deciding to fight these guys. It's disgusting. I'm disappointed for you guys. But it, it worked. I think Toad's life was eternally changed after that moment. I just thought it was a really cool idea too to Oh, I'm gushing about a movie that everyone hates. It's so sad. Everyone hates this film. And I'm over here like, well this this part was really good about it. But nobody gives it a chance because everyone said it was terrible. But that was just all the boomers talking who watched it. All the judgmental boomers who were like this is nothing like the video game. I wanted Mario to jump in this movie. He didn't even jump. But he did fucking jump. He had the thwomp stomp, you idiot. You freaking pixel brain. Freaking cork head. Am I allowed to say that? That's what I... I would love to start coming up with insults. Like making up insults to call things in people. But I'm really scared that I might accidentally say, uh, like, a really bad slur or something. Like, you never know. There's just... Any combination of words can offend anybody. He did not say Paisanos either. He didn't say Mamma Mia. I thought they were gonna lead into the Mamma Mia joke. I thought he was gonna... Because, uh, Luigi was like, oh, uh... Mario's been raising me like a mother. I thought that was gonna be like, make a, just make a Mamma Mia joke there. You know, what I mean? you know what I mean? It would have worked. Would have been pretty good. Can I? I can't bring the bomb all the way there. Oh, but I do have bombs now. I'm smart. I promise. I hope that they're able to complete the comic, if nothing else. I'd love a print version of the of the sequel comic, but yeah, I'm fucking off from here. I think there might have been another uh, bombable thing that I missed. I'm so upset that I liked that movie because the new Mario movie is coming out. And what if I don't like that one? What if I like the bad one and then I don't like the good one? Is it gonna be better or worse if the new one's bad? What if the new one's bad and I don't like that but I like the good one? I mean, the, I'm s confusing myself with all these hypotheticals. Do you think the new Mario movie is gonna be good? I guess that's a good place to start. Because I don't believe it's going to be good. The first Mario movie astonished me because... I'm the last person to like live action stuff. And I'm like... I always go for the animation. Like, if you're making a video game, a video game movie, make it animated. 
think Toad's gonna be gay in this one. Is he, isn't he voiced by, um, by Keegan-Michael Key? I forget. Is it gonna be a punk rocker again, do you think? I'm definitely making that bingo card for the new Mario movie. New Mario will be stinky. He'll be like, it's a me, a Mario. And then he's gonna say, huh, just kidding. That's just my, uh, I don't know. <laughs> my fake voice. That's my fake voice that I put on sometimes when I'm, when I'm laughing at myself. It's fun to laugh at yourself sometimes. My bingo card, oh my god, that's a lot of hearts. My bingo card for Mario movie, definitely one of the things is gonna be making fun of the 1993 movie. I feel like they're gonna poke fun at it at least once. I've been thinking about who would be, who would be the link in, uh, oh, this is confusing, I'm trying to think of how to word it, who would act as the link in the live action universe from the 1993 Mario film, like if they made an extended universe, a Jurassic World reference is inevitable, oh you're right, I don't know if it's inevitable but that's I don't know if they're gonna they might reference the Lego movie in some way because he, he works at th that the construction company with Spike right and then he'll be like he'll say something about being a builder and then he'll be like oh that's just my old job or something like that you know like I don't do that anymore where the fuck am I going I think I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go back to the store where I can get the shield, even though it's just going to burn again. I just want to have it. It feels nice having it, even if I don't equip it. So I was thinking of what, um, the 1993 link would be. But also, what would the the new, if they make an extended Nintendo universe out of the an animated movies, what will the the meme link be? Because Chris Pat as Mario was probably a meme for a good while. Like ever since the Lego movie, or the first time he voiced an animated character, that was probably a pretty big meme. And then it just became true. But I don't know that many actors. I don't know that many, uh, you know, real actors or voice actors. Justin Bieber as Link. No, Justin Bieber as, as Freddy Fazbear. I'm not gonna get over that. That's what they were saying in middle school. They were like, yo, did you hear? You're Justin Bieber supposed to be Freddy Fazbear? You hear that Miley Cyrus is supposed to be Chica? Yo, isn't that crazy? Yo, that's crazy, right? Yo, Bob Hoskins is Bonnie. That's pretty good, right? What do you think of that one? Did Bob Hoskins die before before Five Nights at Freddy's came out at all? Okay, I'm not gonna equip that right away. Do you think Jim Carrey has ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? The original specifically. I'd love to voice, uh... Oh, I'd love to voice Bonnie in the new Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Would you sign me up for that?
Are you serious? Bob Hoskins died four like four months before FNAF came out. Oh my god. That's really sad. We were this close. We were this close to having him in hundreds of more movies. I would have loved to see him more. He's so good. I heard he was pissed off that at the uh, Mario movie. Like he did not have a good time with the filming process of that movie. It's so weird starting to watch um, more movies, starting to get more familiar with movies because I didn't think I would ever become attached to any actors and watch movies just because of them, but here I am now finding myself looking for more John Travolta movies after watching Pulp Fiction. And uh, I'm thinking of checking out some more Bob Hoskins stuff. I have seen, um, what's it called? Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's a film I've seen before. That kind of felt... I don't know if that was if that was actually considered a really good movie or what. But to me, that kind of felt like a d direct to TV movie or a direct to DVD movie. I wish more movies did the the same thing as it as in like doing the 2D animation with live action. Cuz I know it's 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 silly to see but it's a fun thing. It's a fun little thing. More more people should try it. Oh, that's climbable. Why the fuck is that climbable? They just decided that, that was climbable? Fuck you, bro. What is happening? Just stop. Stop this right now. Holy shit. What if Bob Hoskins voiced the phone guy? I'm not asking what it would sound like if he did. I'm saying what if what if he was the voice all along and we just didn't know? That'd be crazy. Trying to find all the areas that I didn't bomb, that I can bomb, that need to be bombed. How many times am I allowed to say bomb on stream without it being sus? <laughs> Bob Hoskins. Oh my god. Can you imagine? That shit's because Because no one really knew about Scott Cawthon until FNAF came out. And... You know, people stopped talking about Bob Hoskins after he died. Well, not talk. You know what I mean. When he's dead, he j he just doesn't. He isn't around anymore. So what if he became Scott Cawthon? What if he went under a new alias and he made a video game series? Listen. The, oh, do you have to throw bombs at them? I guess that's how they work. I forgot about that. Why do we remember hitting them with the sword and it working? Is that just a Mandela effect? It was in my copy. My personalized copy of the game. Can you stop, Navi? Nobody asked. Can you stop? John Travolta was so funny in Pulp Fiction, dude. I don't know if I'll ever be able to, like, find a movie that he's as funny again. And I d what's sad is he's really funny, but 
I also kind of hate him. He's so fucking stupid. And he's like, I want to punch him, but I also want to laugh at him at the same time, if that makes sense. Aw, oh, your copy of Ocarina of Time was just haunted. Meanwhile, everyone gets cool versions with, with new features. How do I get there? Am I stupid? How does one get there? What if I leave and then come back? That's the motherfucker that took my shield, I think. You'd really haunt an iCarly game if you if you were a ghost. Oh god. Does does death does death require haunting a video game or can I guess f just for this hypothetical you have to haunt one video game? video game would I haunt? Probably Fortnite. Because that affects so many people. That'd be funny. Just scare everyone all the time. I'd be like the hero Brian of, uh, of Fortnite. My backstory would have no connection to, to Fortnite at all though. No, but the thing of the thing about haunting a an iCarly DS game is that if someone t was telling a story about it, it would um no one would believe it. I don't think they just think that they're writing a weird like creepy pasta in 2023. Not that you're gonna die in 2023. I just came up with a, a random number after after today. And that's what I came up with. I feel like people, enough people play Fortnite now that if it was haunted as a whole, then it would just scare the shit out of so many people. Have I gone this way yet? I did, right? Yeah, I definitely did. Yeah. Have you seen this man? Oops. <laughs> you can haunt Dead by Daylight, but nobody would notice. I just become a new, a new killer and nobody thinks much of it. They're like, wow, what a weird new killer. The new streamer killer. They have a K-pop killer, so that's not that different. It's just better. Oh, I could have done that 20 hours ago. I know, I knew that did that. I just didn't remember. Giant dead dongo, when it sees red, a new way to go will be open. L is real. L is real. With that switch on, moving the platform goes higher. Now you can quickly reach the second point. What's this? Is that... What is that? Is that like a... S is that the skeleton of it? Why is its skeleton so large and then its head is little like that? Is that proper? Is that how a beast should be? Don't you guys agree with me? It, it, a beast should be a little different from that.
he died from swallowing his own head. What a fucking idiot. Oh god. That's what I get. That's what I get, I guess. Do 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 Um isn't there a way to Fuck, how do you glitch this? I think if you press this I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try something. How do you quit? How do you quit game? Press A to decide, it says. Um. Golly, I don't know how to quit game, but I'll just reset it. I know there's like a, a little speed running thing. Drew told me about it, but I'm just gonna butcher it by resetting the game. <laughs> Stixie. This doesn't seem very speed running if, if, if it requires speed running the game. I mean, speed running. Resetting the game. I guess it can cut off like a few seconds, depending on how fast you can reset the game. Oh, it doesn't even, I did it wrong. But there's something where you press the button, maybe you have to die or something, but then it pushes the button for you. That's probably it, you have to die there. Should I try it? Do you think that's worth trying or no? Cause I'll totally try it. I mean, might as well. My hearts are so low anyways. I would totally haunt uh, Game Boy Advance SP as well. It has to be blue edition too. Yeah, kill me. Let's see if this works. Cool. Sad. He was hand is weird. Continue playing. Let's see what that does. When is the Mario movie coming out again? Is it December? They said. That did do it, wow. See? I am slightly smart. I'm so lazy at video games that I'd rather uh, learn like slight speedrunning techniques than do parts of the game. That's actually the only way I can enjoy Mario 64 is by speedrunning it. This game is generally enjoyable though for me. It has a cool world about it. It has a really good music. It's fun to play. Mario 64 is fun to jump in, but the... Just some of the stars, most of the stars. I will say most of the stars are not fun to get. only hit it once? You can only hit that soldier boy once. Sorry, crank that soldier boy. Come here, boy. Oh, I hit him twice. 
like everything about this game except for the parts that, the parts that I don't like. I can't think of what parts I don't like just off the top of my head. I'll have to play up until those parts to remind myself. to just slide across the floor for some reason. I guess to give it room to do this. Uh, Jabu Jabu's belly is kind of annoying. But I don't think it hinders my experience enough for me to not play the rest of the game after it. So I just kind of, you know, I get over it and then I just beat it and then play the rest after it. For Mario 64, it it starts out really solid, and then over time it just gets worse. And yeah, I'll say it, worse. There's no part in late game that's worth like like playing the earlier parts for. I think getting 16 stars is a really solid playthrough of that game. And if I want to play more of the game, I'll just play the 16 stars again, you know? I can get uh, I can get different different stars. What a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story. So I think when I first um came here to this uh well, the gay, the gay Bowsers, you have to fight them. No matter how many stars you get, you have to fight all three of them. That's the, um, import- That's the most significant form of, uh, progression in the game. The gay Bowsers. So when I first came here, um, in this particular playthrough, I forgot that there was a kid version of the- of the dungeon, so I thought I was going right into the adult one. said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? <gasps> it happened. Now, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of my friendship. You're just... Okay. That seems like a pretty big thing to give some, some dude who just... I guess to be fair, I did save them. Don't you think he would save that to give to his son or something though? You know what I mean? Or keep with the Gorons? Do they know of the legend? Do they know of the legendary hero that needs these? Is that what, why they're entrusting him with these stones? One more to find. When you were younger playing this game, did they know the legend of Zelda and Stilksea? When you were younger playing this game, did you think that the kid part was... Did you think that after you got the spiritual stones, the game was all over? Because I can see people... I can see that being what people thought. Especially as a kid. Personally, I never really questioned it. Like, I was never like, oh, when's the game gonna end? I just kept playing it. I was never like, oh, the game's over now. My eyes really itchy. And because I put lotion on my hands, it makes my eye even more itchy. Oh, you got tripped up on the floor web like I do every single time. That's fair. <coughs> Ooh. 
Bless me. That's an order, actually. Fuck. I think I might be dying. I'm sneezing in my eye edges and... It's just terrible. This game does these th things to me. He just placed it! You freaking idiot. Bro! Why'd that not blow that up? What the fuck was that? This reminds me of that one part in Wind Waker. Jesus, that should have worked. Are you kidding me right now? Can I throw it up there? No, surely I can throw it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop! I didn't even get to see the fruits of my labor. It just kind of happened. That's upsetting. Oh, I don't... Shit. I don't have my shield. I tried to use my shield to drop it, but it didn't work. I didn't need any of those, but I got them all. Hey, dude. Oops. Oh, don't you have to play, uh... You have to play the, um, opponent's song for them to give you... Milk. I forgot about that. This must be how that game journalist felt while bowling in SpongeBob. That sounds slightly familiar, but also I don't remember. Uh, what was, what was that? What was the story? The only one I really know by heart is the Cuphead one. Because obviously the Cuphead one is so ridiculous. Oh my god, that it did not work in the slightest. Was it just another brain dead idiot like the like the Cuphead situation? Just someone constantly trying the same thing over and over and it didn't work. I gotta check that out later because it's just so funny. Game journalists are funny. It's like watching a... What am I... What am I trying to think? What am I trying to think? It's like giving a... Uh, I don't know, giving a hairbrush or something to a monkey and then seeing what they'll do with it. That's basically what watching a game journalist play is like. just entertaining in its own right they should make they should all have let's play channels because I would I would love to laugh at them and with them because just at that point you're they're self-aware being self-aware is the best awareness you can have oh shit See, I'm aware that I'm bad at games, but, uh, that's the whole statement. I still play them against everyone's will. Give me something. Welcome, Stilksy. How did you know my name? I don't know you, but... You, I don't know. You don't know me, but I don't know where you live. The sword technique? That sounds wonderful, thank you. Can't you play as the Great Fairy in, in, uh, in Hyrule Warriors? Or am I crazy? I still don't know all the characters you can play as in the new Hyrule Warriors, because... 
I didn't want to spoil it for myself. <laughs> I'm not touching that, uh, I'm not touching that sword technique comment right there. Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by the Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I know. Isn't she the last one I can get to? is gonna feel so weird without Smash. I think every game event is gonna feel so weird without Smash. And that's probably really sad because that means that's all that I... That's the truth though. That's all I was really looking forward to as far as news. I'm gonna have to start um, opening my horizons back up. But the thing is, a lot of the series that I have been looking forward to have recently had games. Like, all I can think to ask for is uh, Banjo-Kazooie, obviously, and Haunting Ground, which is never going to happen, so maybe that'll just be on my bingo card until it happens. Yes. Grab. Yes. What even happened in E3 2021? It was nothing, right? Oh, yeah, it was nothing. E3 2022 is when everyone announces their NFTs. How do you get to that? I'm going to try to get to that uh, guy over here. I never I I never knew how to do it. I just knew it was possible. But I saw someone do it recently. I wanna see if I can do it. Probably not, I'm not smart. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna try it one more time. Oh yeah, every... Well, that's... Alright, here's the thing. There were stuff announced that people were looking forward to. Um... It was just... It's just that I think we're just Nintendo nerds. So we were just hoping for... Basically, Banjo-Kazooie from Microsoft. Um... Any scrimblo bimblo that... Uh, PlayStation wanted to spit out. Or whoever, you know, Bandai Namco. But all we got was all these midi- Like, th not medieval. There's a- They're fantasy- Fantasy games. Yo, you about to vent into my stream? I saw you vent in electrical. That's crazy. Yeah, I think there was a lot of dope stuff last E3, but it was just stuff that I don't care about because I really... D all the fantasy games look the same to me. All the shooty games look the same to me, and it's the point where all the fantasy games and all the shooty games all look like each other. Does that make sense? Like, they don't look nothing alike in reality, but to me, it's just like looking at all the same content. Like, the next trailer would drop, and I'd be like, oh, cool, another... Uh, Another video game. Oh yeah, Nintendo announced WarioWare, right? Which ended up being pretty cool. Um, I beat that in like one day, but it was really fun. And then uh, um, Mario Party Superstars, which everyone loves but thinks needs more content, which is true. 
I feel like Super Mario Party wasn't as bad as everyone says. Isn't there a secret thing over here somewhere? Probably not. I'm just imagining it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm not as hyped for Breath of the Wild 2 as everyone else is. Like, I remember everyone was like, yo, they're gonna, they better show some Breath of the Wild 2 stuff. And then they showed the Skyward Sword stuff. And I was like, let's fucking go! And then, and then I hardly played it. Because a lot of the, oh, that guy was just stupid. A lot of the uh, games that I've, I've been buying lately, I've been thinking to myself, Oh, I could use this. I could stream this. I could just use this as a stream. And so I don't end up playing anything, really. Horrible video game. It has its own mini section. <sighs> what do we even know about Breath of the Wild 2 at this point, anyway? Are you asking, uh... Genuinely? Because I wouldn't mind saying a few of the things that we've learned. Basically nothing. We got the first trailer, which was absolutely nothing. We were like, everyone was like, maybe it's like a Majora's Mask type of situation. Or it's a creepier underground version. And then the last trailer dropped and it was a in the sky thing. So it's more of a, so it started out being like a Majora's Mask situation. Now it's like, uh, is this a Skyward Sword situation? Because it showed Link question mark in the sky. I don't think they showed his face yet in, in like the, you know, third person form. And in the original Breath of the Wild, you can turn the camera to look at his face. So it's kind of weird that they wouldn't show that. But I feel like people look way too deep into Nintendo's presentation sometimes. I don't think Nintendo thinks that hard when they're putting out videos like that. Like, they don't try to, um, you know, pull fast ones on us or be sneaky and see if we'll catch what they do. They hardly ever do that. Sakurai did that, like, once, and then he was like, never again. Because the... Because... <laughs> Because it was like a Pac-Man thing, I think he, he referenced. He made like a cloud, the shape of Pac-Man. And then Pac-Man was announced. And then everyone after that was like, Oh, the sky is blue. That must mean we're getting a, a Sonic character next. And like shit like that. And so he's like, yeah, no. Not not doing that. Yeah, the chairs. I really wanted to believe all of the Skull Kid stuff because it made so much sense. I mean, they showed... They showed the moon assist trophy. They added the moon assist trophy to the website. I'm actually in the camp that they were planning on adding Skull Kid, and then they just decided on different characters. Like he was probably in 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 development, and then they decided on other characters instead. That just makes sense to me because it really seemed like they wanted him to be in the game. Why did he fly over here? Was I supposed to be paying attention to what he said? You know what I mean? There was an entire uh, page. And I'm not just being a, a sheeple right now and believing what a, a page full of um, Smash Brothers information told me. I, I actually was looking into it myself. And I was like, you know what? This just, he knows, Sakurai knows that we want Skull Kid. They really should have added D's nuts, but that probably, they probably added all the other characters before that became a meme. One thing that's so bizarre about Smash is that there's so many characters that, I don't know if they all seem as much as Soul Kid seem to me, but there are a lot of characters that seem like they almost made it in.
Like, there were rumors that Chun-Li was supposed to make it in, but they decided on Ken because he uh, is more similar to Ryu and easier to make into an Echo Fighter. Chun-Li would have been amazing, though, as a, a Smash character. Yeah, Chun-Li would have been awesome. A kicking fighter. It would have been cool having... What caused that? Do we know? Having two kicking fighters. We could have had Min Min versus Chun-Li. Both fighters. Both combatants in their own games. And they both like kicking. They're both known for kicking. Wouldn't that have been cute? Tell me that wouldn't have been cute. Because you'd be lying. They're also all of the... Uh... Can I actually reach this? I gotta be able to reach that, right? Really? Okay, whatever. Can I reach that? Yeah, there there are also so many. I don't know what you guys know about. I don't want to go on a Smash Brothers rant. Because... You guys probably have heard it all before. And I know as someone who's heard all of it before thousands of times. It's really annoying hearing it. Over and over. But I just feel like there are a lot of fighters that should have had a, a chance. Link can grab things underwater. It's just he didn't dive low enough, I guess. Oh my god, you're not supposed to be up here, bro. I forget what her name is. I'll say one I'll say one fighter who was almost in melee. Her name is I think it's Ayumi Tachimana. And she was in the Famicom Detective series. And I thought maybe she had a bit of a chance in Ultimate since her series was getting a uh, you know a remake. But obviously that didn't come into fruition. And that probably would have disappointed a lot of people because that was right around the time of the final. Oh my god. What are you going to say to me now? I don't. Stop talking. Stop. Get out of here. Gosh, this guy. Can't take a hint. Okay, I'm going towards Gerudo Valley by mistake. But yeah, she's a uh, from a detective game, a, a visual novel game, I think. I don't know if that, or if saying those two things are very conflicting, but no, oh, I can't do that, I guess. It would have been so cool to see how Sakurai would have implemented that. That's one of my favorite things, seeing him doing in uh, Smash. Is implementing characters that you wouldn't expect in in intriguing ways. Like everyone was shaking their heads at Wii Fit Trainer. Meanwhile, I was like, dude, that's amazing that you thought to do that. And you thought that you'd be capable to do it, and you did do it. He's just a genius. And I guess his team. His team is a his team is a team of geniuses. But as the director, I imagine he had a lot of, uh, he had a lot of the ideas that went into it. There were probably a lot of, uh, a lot more work from other people that went in than they get credit for. Ooh, that sign has seen better days. 
That's a fucked up texture. Why does... What? What? What caused that? Yeah, they could have made the Labo thing work. Wait, Dr. Loeb? Is that a... Is that a D's nut joke? What's Dr. Loeb? Is that Labo? And you just spelled it wrong? Because that sounds like it could be a different thing entirely. Oh, the guy from Big Brain. Big Brain. They could have made Dr. Labo work too. Or Mr. Mr. Labo. I forget what people were calling it during the uh, infancy of the Smash speculation. Yeah, you guys have probably seen my, uh, my Smash, uh, list. Not really list, my thread of characters that would be cool in Smash. And basically what I've been doing with that is I've just been throwing in characters that uh, either I want or I think that other people want and would be original in some sort of way in Smash. Dude, what if they put Link, uh, Young Link in Smash, but they, but he has no shield. That would be crazy. That's gotta be one of the saddest parts of Smash potentially ending is all of the characters that almost made it in. Like, can you imagine if you were a huge Dixie Kong fan? What if you were a huge Dixie Kong fan or you were a huge Plusle and Minin fan and then you hear that they almost made it into Brawl? That's upsetting that they never actually ended up in the game. So you, you were, you were in Castletown. What? Did you run all the way home before he made it home? Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she's awful cute. She doesn't like me though. Can you learn this? Can you learn the song here and now? Walk really close to her. Horsey. Steal the horse. Come here. They live such a happy little peaceful life here. It seems like Yipona is afraid of you, fairy boy. Well, let's teach song. My mother composed the song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Okay. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with the ocarina? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't so in, so entrusting to Link with their personal songs. And then he just butchers them. They're like, wow, uh, I'm glad I taught you that. Please don't play that again. Please don't play that in public. Cool. Oh, she loved it. You see that? She's all over that. She loves that song. Get out of here. You're not invited. That was lovely. Aw. Hey, dude. You're killing me. He just doesn't care. He's being shoved right now. Hello. Vibio game. 
Good job. You did good. We all did good here today. Who else would be cool in Smash? I just think my... F oh, God. My request before anything else is putting all the characters that were planned into the game. This is what Zelda would look like in 2013. Didn't a uh, uh, Link Between Worlds come out in 2013? Is that the one that came out then? No, I probably made that up. I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, is working at this dump of range. Dude, it's, it's John Linguizamo. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to work, oh, work around here. Hardworking Ingo. Cool. I'm still getting... I'm still getting all so many likes on that one uh, comment. Why am I doing that? I don't need rupees at all. Is there anything I can do in here? He holds the knife so weird. I just called it a knife. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just like shoves it in his face as he walks. Mumbo mumbo mumbo. What? I'm awake already. The forest gets another day. You're welcome a lot for waking you up. Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? Look at all these chickens. There's three super kukos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three special birds from the among, among us. In time limit, I'll give you something good. Doesn't he give you something really shitty? You just have to guess, I think, is the game. Basically, you just have to run and you just have to guess. And not pick up the same ones multiple times. You're trying to hide, you little person. Here we go. That's it. That's the... That's the extent of it. Oh. Just kidding. I think you're a little... Oh, does... I didn't read what he said. I just said yes. And I thought... Does he give me another bottle? There are three imposters among us. He... Yeah, I got a bottle for that. That's pretty cool. I thought what he said was, oh, do you want to play again? I thought he gave me a gift and I didn't, I just didn't read what the gift was. And then uh, he was like, do you want to play again? But no, he asked me if I wanted to marry Malin or whatever. Gross. I don't want to marry somebody. That's weird. I just want Lon Lon milk, thank you, and a bottle. I like that the floor clips through the camera. It's pretty crazy. This game's just kooky like that. Oh, no, Link. You don't understand what I'm trying to do, I don't think. Are there any um, actors that would play young Link? Just in any, what was it? Are there any good like uh, young, blonde boy actors. <laughs> the Lon Lon Ranch nude code. You know what I mean? I I can't think off the... I guess Macaulay Culkin was a young blonde kid. I don't think he would... Maybe he would fit the role, but... 
that was a a little bit before before this game in particular came out. I don't need anything. Why am I trying to do that? Looks like you got the bigger and stronger already. Still see just ahead lies Zora's domain. Zora's, can you, can I, I don't want to read what you're saying. I know, I have to, hmm. This guy sure likes hearing his own voice. Thank you for talking to me. Good job. So I need bombs. Lamp oil, ropes, ropes, bombs. They're yours, my friend. There's gotta be a thing there, right? No, that's usually what that indicates. I thought at least. I guess it's just the cuckoo's nest. Pranked me. Do I need the Kuko to get past there? Oh god, that was not pleasant. Kay. Are there bombs in these? Ever? No. Yeah, I was wait. I was I wasn't even born yet by the time the speculation for Zelda 64 happened. But it seems like a really cool time in history. It seems like it was. It basically felt like uh, you know speculating current games, but crazier because you're going from 2D to 3D. No one knew really what to expect. How badly did I just fuck up? Um, it's a weird uh, sound font. Not sound font, but a weird instrument, a weird sound. So I can't pinpoint it. There's just one really weird one. How come there's never been a Kuko in Smash? Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Is this a song thing? Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Is there a song for these guys? Oh yeah, the Kuko's an item. Is there a specific song for them? Am I stupid? Is there like an obvious... Is this something that everybody knows? I don't know. I've never, I don't think I've ever solved that.
play sicko mode for them? Oh man. I probably should have done that. Where'd the cuckoo go? I was I'm very glad that it wasn't far away. Why is it made it sound like it was to the left, but it was right in front of me. Oops. I don't think there's anything really significant over here, but I'm still gonna go here. another one up here. I guess that's why I heard one. No, no, no. I'm not going to go in there yet. I'm going to go into this one first. I almost said, why are there two holes? And that can be taken out of context very easily. So I'm not going to say that. I'll just say that in its own context of not having said it. And that's the whole conversation. Thanks for talking to me. I found a Korok. Was Wind Waker the first game to have Koroks at all? Because that's the earliest I know of them. But... I didn't really touch any of the games before Ocarina of Time. Oh, oh okay. Also, how, how much of Link's moveset is comparable to Zelda 2 Link? Because I know that's uh, a game from the same angle, so... It seems obvious to pull from that one. That guy sucks. You suck, bro. See, why couldn't Breath of the Wild have music like this? Breath of the Wild just needs music, that's all. You know what I'm saying? If only they remembered what uh, music was. I need a Kuko up here. I don't think there's any music in Breath of the Wild that I've, uh, you know, sought out to listen to outside of the game. I was gonna say the Talus, um, you know, the. What are they called? The freaking monks? The Great Talus or whatever? But the only reason I listen to that outside of the game is for the, the Siva Gunner thing. Damn. Oh, it, it did go back here. No, pick this. Yeah. Oh my god, don't talk to me right now. What? When did you get there? I already talked to you, bro. Stop. Leave me alone. It's just getting creepy at this point. <sighs> Can't stand that guy. Is he serious with this? I thought the I thought the cuckoo was gonna try to talk to me. I trigger a, a cuckoo cut scene where it's pissed off at me. It seems weird that they've never made a Zelda movie of all things. 
he's Zelda's dad in in uh, Skyward Sword, but he's not he's not related to her in this one. I don't think. So, uh, her dad in Skyward Sword is based off of that character. And he is also the, uh, the, um, the first sage, sage of, uh, of but bread and butter or something like that, I don't know. The sage of who, sh who gives a shit. Oops, uh, sorry about that. Also, sorry about that, that should have been... That worked out perfectly. So who's at the entrance listening for this song and opening the waterfall so I can enter? Is it just like a magic, uh... Like, there's like a technology behind it that when that song is played, it just opens. I say technology and magic in the same same phrase. It, it that's like the phrase that I'm I'm coining. Magic technology. Things work a very particular way because the magic technology allows them. stuff in here? There's nothing in here of any value. Good, good, good. If I were to play the adventure mode of Melee on stream, how should I go about it? Because I don't want it to, I don't want to make it seem like I'm, I'm saying I'm good at the game. I just kind of want to go through the story, but it seems really bizarre to just go through the story once. And it seems even weirder to go through the story twice. Should I maybe uh, do that and then start like subspace emissary or something? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh God. Link gets a concussion on the fucking rock. I almost double repeat it. I mean, this is basically baby mode, just saying. Got something very nice for you, come and get it. Oh, it's not down there. definitely love to play through subspace emissary on here because I haven't played that in so long but it's so much fun I think the the way that they went about implementing locations like settings from other games into it was a little weird but overall the experience is amazing just the fact that it exists. That's enough for me with a lot of things. Just the fact that they exist. That's why I 
by these obscure things that I was talking about earlier, the obscure figures and comics. I haven't read any of the comics yet, I don't think. It's just the fact that I am able to look at them and that they are real. That's what gets me about them. That was supposed to catch on fire. That was supposed to catch on fire again. Hopefully by the time that Breath of the Wild 2 comes out... Oh. Hopefully by the time Breath of the Wild 2 comes out, I'll uh, get my capture card working right. And then I'll be able to stream that. It'd be pretty dope if I am I able to stream it basically day one. Not that I'll even get it day one. I might not. I have a tendency not to pre-order many games. Did I skip one? No, no, no. What did I miss? Was there one on the way that I missed? Did they even do anything or am I just crazy? Am I just bananas crazy? As is my style of gameplay, I'll just try it again. And if it doesn't work, I'll do other things. I don't know what I expect it to do. Maybe it's just a thing after it freezes. It just magically melts all the ice or something. Do you know that the Triforce is actually underneath the ice when it freezes? And in order to get to it, you have to use the uh, Megaton hammer, hammer or whatever it's called. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I did. Okay. Not sure what I did wrong the first time, but that's fine. Is that a full one yet? That's really jarring audio. Just one more. You know what? With um, with the other games, I think that I played so far. Maybe it's just Pokemon Emerald. But when I'm playing that, I'm just watching the clock a lot of the time. I don't know what it is about it. Um, but with these games, I have so much fun with them that I kind of forget that the clock even exists. Until it comes to mind later. And then I'm like, shoot. Shoot, I probably shouldn't play this until the next day. This is not where I want to be right now. Bionic Pig also made a video about, um, I think I might have mentioned this one time, about how Disney stole the idea for Aladdin from an animator who was working on a, a like a massive passion project. And I think the deal was that, um, like they saw his progress, they saw what he was working on and they thought it was pretty dope. So they were like, hey, if you, uh, if you help us make uh this movie we're working on who framed roger rabbit then we'll uh we'll fund your own project there and uh what ended up happening was he helped him with that and obviously that was you know it has its place in culture i don't know if it uh if it sold well probably it probably sold pretty well but then Disney was like, all right, fuck off now. We don't need you anymore. 
And so, I I don't even know. I think they what they did was some of the people who was working under him when he was making his movie. Um, he was really uh, he was really perfectionist about his movie. So he would tell him to redo things over and over and over, which is kind of toxic and I can see how you wouldn't like working around that, but this dude's working on a passion project. He doesn't care about the money. If you care about the money, then don't work with him, you know? Um, he just wants this film done and he wants it done right. But what they did was they, they, uh, they took some of the... I guess they took some of the frames uh, to Disney and they were like, hey, you, th you think we could turn this into our own movie over here? And they were like, yeah, 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 let's make uh, uh, Aladdin. Let's take Aladdin, let's make Aladdin out of this. And what they did was they, they made Aladdin out of, uh, I'm confused from this map right now. It came out of there. Yeah, so I was going the right way. I was, I'm just a, I'm just a knucklehead. And then uh, I think some company under Disney to be subtle about it, so it's not that blatant. They took uh, his his work on his own movie. I think it's called The Cobbler and the Thief or something like that. And they just kind of uh, they butchered it. They made so many changes that it wasn't even the same movie anymore. It just had the same animation, which is impeccable, by the way. And they just kind of shat on his project. And they released it after Aladdin to make it look like it was ripping them off. God, this is so terrible. It's, it's so remarkably bad. And I don't know if he had like some sort of plan to fix it up. Stop talking to me, dude. Cool. Cool. It's so remarkably shitty of Disney. And they've never changed. And they're rewarded for it for some reason. But that's a story for another day. Um, I think he might have been trying to patch it up or make like a, you know, a real release of it. And, um, but he died before it could happen. So I think some... Some fans were trying to, you know, animate it to what would be like his liking. Because I think the storyboard is out. You thought the Weinstein company messed up Thief and the Cobbler? I don't know what... I heard it was Miramax. And I might be just misremembering the information, but... What uh, Bionic Pig said was that... It was a company that was under Disney... So that it looked like it was the company totally unrelated to Disney. Like it was a company that nobody really thought of as a Disney company. It looked like they were just ripping off Disney. I would look it up though. If you're, uh, if you're so curious about it. And also what I learned about recently. On the topic of Disney being shitty is uh there was a they just have a bad habit of telling giving people permission to do something and then not holding up their end of the deal because i think sting or someone someone in um a band i couldn't tell you what band i'm stupid i'm small brain when it comes to stuff like that but uh he did the music for uh, Emperor, uh, what's it called? Emperor's New Groove. He was, they had him do the music for that. And he was like, all right, I'll help you guys with the music for this. If only uh, you'll let my wife do like, do a little documentary about, you know, what the, what the, pro, pro, the process of the movie making is. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. And, uh, she made, she was, like, she was probably excited to see what it was like working there. And she was excited to make a, you know, happy-go-lucky little film about it. But then she found out it was actually really shitty working there. 
The name of the documentary was, the, I think, The Sweat Box, which is because the conditions that they were working in was basically a really small and, like, uninsulated place with no air conditioning. And they were really strict. They were really strict with how they uh, animated and stuff. And it was just, like, a really bad look for the Disney. But, uh, it, I mean, Disney, you agree, you agreed to let her make this documentary. And they made it, I think, inaccessible, or they changed it up a lot. But what's... It's, like, double shitty on Disney's part, because... The company was bad to begin with for them, for her to have, like, you know, that information on them. And they were double bad for not letting her, you know, make the do documentary like they agreed. So they do a lot of taking, but not a lot of giving. Is basically the moral of the Disney story. That's why I intend to consume consume their media in the least expensive way possible. But I do want to go to Disney World, which is really sad. I don't want to support the company, but Disney World is too good to, to pass up on. Call me a uh, hypocrite, but I've been there once and it is really fun there. It's beyond fun. See, if it was just fun, that'd be one thing. If it was just a fun little excursion, it's like, whatever, I'll just go to a museum or an aquarium instead. But no, it's it's an entire experience to go to Disney World. That's one Disney recommendation I'll give you, is Disney World. If you haven't gone before, I would make a... a make it a, a goal, if you can ever find a way to, to get there. Like, even if you go with a bunch of friends, that could be fun. Maybe I'll do that sometime. Because then you can all split the, you know, split the bill. But it doesn't make <laughs> That's what sucks about trips like that, is you might be splitting the bill, but you're also making the bill bigger because you have to buy tickets for everybody. <laughs> Is there anything I can do around Chabu Chabu? No, I'm not gonna bother. You've only been to Disneyland. I'm sure Disneyland has a similar vibe to Disney World. And it's got different rides too, I think. Cause I know there's like a Radiator Springs area. I do want to go to California at some point what it's like yeah sleeping at hotels is fun it's weird because it seems it seems like something that shouldn't be enjoyable like imagine living in a hotel that's another story but it, it, when you're staying at a hotel it's different because you're going you know you're on a trip you're like I'm here because I'm on a trip I'm here because I'm uh, doing some fun things tomorrow. It's easier to go to sleep because you're like, I go to sleep at at uh, 9 p.m. and then I'll wake up at 9 a.m. and then I'll 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 do all this fun stuff. And there are some hotels that like go ridiculous. They are just really fancy, but. A very common theme with hotels is no matter how fancy they are, I would never see myself living in a hotel. They do a good job of that, of being a good, a very nice uh, range of enjoyable, of an enjoyable place to stay, but not to live. I'm 
just no Zack or Cody. I don't think I could ever live in a hotel. How did they live in a hotel? Is that a thing that people actually do? For me, daddy. Oh god. Uh, yeah, see this? At least with Clanker's Cavern, the, uh, the, the level is not all inside of the belly. It's just not a good, uh, fuck. It's just not an enjoyable environment to be in. I'll save, yeah. I'll save, yeah. Just, yeah. Have you ever known anyone who's lived in a hotel? People do live in hotels? Is that like a, uh... If you, I don't know, if you don't have a good uh, history with, with your landlords or something, or if, if, I don't know. Because it's not, in a lot of cases, that's more expensive than living in a house or living in an apartment, right? I guess it depends if it's a cheap hotel, but the, the hotel in Zack and Cody was, is, is expensive, right? It looks expensive. What was the deal with that? Did they ever explain why they lived in a hotel? Or was it just like, we're just funny guys living at a hotel, just wreaking havoc and flirting with girls twice our age. My father's worried about me. I don't care. Anyway, I probably can't go home now. Okay. She fell. <laughs> I hate those motherfuckers because I don't I don't remember how to combat them. Oh god. Remember I just replayed this and I just remembered how to I had to look up how to I think you did the boomerang. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay, I've been going inside Lord Judge but I was wet belly since I was little. Why have you been doing this? This is not good. You never saw the original Zack and Cody series? I watched Zack and Cody when I was really young. So it's basically like I didn't watch it. gold sculptures in here. Can I? Hold on. Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> she makes some pretty funny noises. Oh, do I have to... I don't put her there, right? Where did she go? What the... What the... Don't push that button yet. Alright, actually, maybe push that button. Those are surprisingly easy to fight. I just realized, was Horizon Zero Dawn trying to go for his uh, like Zelda thing? Because obviously, um, it's a coincidence that it was like... Breath of the Wild at all. 
but at the beginning you play as a little kid. You play as a little kid version of her. I guess I'm just like, that's just a coincidence, but it's still weird. Cause that thought started as me being like, what if they made a uh, Horizon Zero Dawn game where you play as uh, as a kid for, for half of it and then you play as an adult for the other half. But then I remembered you, you do play as little, little weird troll looking Aloy. She actually looks like a troll doll, I'm not even kidding. What is- th am I just supposed to throw her across? Is that a solution? Oh, I think I know. She doesn't drown, does she? Well, obviously she does- I didn't mean that. That sounded really stupid, but that's not what I meant. I meant she doesn't, like, respawn somewhere else. That's what I meant. <laughs> That's how you do it. Cool. Oh no, is I drowned my- oh. Kingfish. Oh, that's okay, you can hit her. That's okay. You turn into a platform or something? I mean... Oh! does make kind of cute noises. And I'm allowed to say that because I was like 13 when I, when I noticed that. She thought we were going to die. You really thought we were going to die. You idiot. So what happens if I leave her in here and, and go off and do something else? Because I'm very interested in what's here. Oh, I need the boomerang for a lot of this. For all of this, actually. But what's over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't. That's a boomerang thing. That's a boomerang thing. Get out of here. What was the first game that you remember, um, you know, uh, knowing that it was going to come out, but wondering what it was going to be like, you know, being hyped for, but like looking online or looking in, in, in magazines and stuff for the information and just wondering, you know what I mean? Speculating and stuff. Don't, please don't do this to me. Thank you. Pissed at me or something? I think my earliest experience with that, it wasn't me personally. It was super hyped, but I just remember the hype around uh, Brawl. Because that's when they made a website for it. They made Brawl a uh, fucking thing. What was it called? I don't even remember, but... Sakurai was posting all the... Oh, latest information. And he's like, this is what we're working on now. And this is the character that will be coming out. The least you can remember being hyped for a game was Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, that's around the time of like, Brawl, honestly. Ah. That was... That was stupid of me to do. Ah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wasn't even into uh, Pokemon that much yet until Platinum. I think what happened was I, uh, I had some weird vendetta against it because I, I couldn't read when I first played it when I was little. And then uh, I think maybe around the time of Platinum, my friend was hyped for it. So I was like, oh, I can read now, so maybe I can give this game a try. And then I tried, uh, I tried Platinum. And in retrospect, it, it's not my favorite game by far. Or by a long shot, I should say. I should, I should say. Um, that, okay, that works for me. Why does that kill of them? not my favorite by a long shot but it uh showed me the series enough that i i got into it this switch it doesn't look like you can press it down with your weight alone still see that's good thanks for letting me know that that's definitely significant to me was i supposed to bring her in here probably <laughs> I've been considering watching more videos on here, even to the point of cons of uh, considering making an extra day on the schedule for it. But uh, my concern is that I might not be able to find, um, you know, interesting enough videos to to warrant it. If that makes sense. Usually, what I do when I watch YouTube is I watch, uh, you know, the nerd YouTubers or the, the Let's Plays, which is not, that's not really something that would be interesting to watch on here because it's just me reacting to someone playing a game. But you're supposed to be the one reacting to me playing the game. So that just kind of ruins the entire purpose of it. It's it's just way too, way too many layers of, of, of weirdness that d don't need to happen simultaneously. Listen. Watch out, Stilksy. Electricity is running through this red slimy thing. Ooh, don't call it that. Where did she go? go back out here what are you doing bro all right that's the last fucking straw oh god that's fine that's fine that's fine it works out i meant to do it even I might play uh, SpongeBob um, rehydrated on here. They should rehydrate the movie game because that was really dope. That's the one that I played as a kid. I still don't think that... Uh, I still don't think that uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom quite deserves all the praise that it gets. Is it, does, is it basically beloved because it's not a shitty uh, license game? Is that where it gets its praise from? Because, I mean, imagine... Imagine if they made a Mario game that was that game well, let me rephrase that what if they m imagine if they made that game but as mario instead of spongebob do you think it would be nearly as popular as it was can 
Can I use the boomerang on these guys? Um, is this even worth it? What are these? Uh, kinda. No, that took the worth away from it. What even is that? You, oh, you've you've uh, sent that one before, I think. Am I wrong though? Battle for Bikini Bottom is, is only good because it's like a licensed game. That isn't entirely shitty. And I'm not saying that it's a bad game in general, I'm saying that it's not a great game. It gets a lot of praise and it's a, it's a, a, a mid-tier, a high mid, maybe a high mid-tier game. But people are like, oh, it's S-tier, this is an S-tier uh, platformer. I'll tell you, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of licensed games that I enjoy. And I would not put them like super high tier just because they're good licensed games. And I think uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom fits in that category of games that are licensed and fun. A few games that I've enjoyed that were... Uh... What am I supposed to be doing again? Oh. A few licensed games that I've had fun with. Uh, I've liked, I liked uh, w the Wally -E game. Oddly enough, I played it on the PS2. It's probably terrible, but I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I liked the Toy Story 3 game. It's not exceptional, but it's. It was fun. What's also weird about the game is I got stuck at one point and then I went back and, and you know, progressed in the part that I was stuck on. And it turned out, okay, oh, the red slimy thing is gone. It turned out that I was just stuck on the last level basically, or the second to last level. So th it made the game feel short. For me, maybe I have to start it all over again. Yeah, I probably have to try the- I probably have to play the game again because... I stopped playing it for like two years or three years or something crazy like that. To ruin my entire perception of the game's length. What's this gonna be? Okay. Why this dude got a map of his? Why does he have a map of his of his belly inside of his belly? How pretentious do you have to pee? Fuck. The way that they make him flail is so bizarre. Ah, oh, this looks gross. This looks gross. Disgusting. See, if you know what you're doing, or if you have any, like, memory of what you're doing in this part, this dungeon isn't that bad. It just isn't great. See, it's like licensed games. It's like uh, licensed movies. It's like... You expect it to be like Mario, but it's not like Mario at all. So that makes it a bad movie, right? It's a bad movie because he doesn't save the princess. Because he doesn't get the princess. His brother gets the princess. It's just weird. 
And Big Bertha? She's barely even a character in Mario. Why is she a hot character in, in the movie? It's not allowed. It's just freakish, you see? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just bad at video games. <laughs> Why? Who permitted this? Get over here, you little fucker. Please. I just want to get these guys because I know they're going to fuck me over. They're going to screw me over later on. He doesn't even say a ravioli. doesn't say princess bring me over that spicy puskinti he says that in every game it's like his catchphrase and he doesn't even say it once did i get nothing for this i guess it opened and i guess that's better than anything a chest could have given me She's still over here. Good. <laughs> Did you make the same joke that Zen made earlier? Not the same exact one, but just something about <laughs> how Mario didn't say something Italian in, in the in the movie. That's really funny. nothing there. What if I try to leave? We're leaving. We gotta cut our losses now. We're going home. Is she gonna yell at me? What? Oh. I guess I just can leave. Without her. That's fine. I'm just gonna say, what the fuck were you thinking? Like, no, seriously, what the fuck? I'm gonna die before I can enter this dungeon again. I might end up playing the, the Spongebob movie game. Uh, rehydrated or not because I didn't I never beat that game but I got some pretty good progression in it and it deserves a remake just like the just like battle for bikini bottom and the thing is I'm pretty sure they're very similar games Alright, actually, you can fuck off. I, I got stuff to do down here. Uh, oops. Why does no one talk about the movie game? Other than the scary ambient music. Why did I think to do that? I think the one... This is the one that I want to go in. Yep. Absolutely. I can get that boy from here.
Why does nobody make licensed console games in general anymore? Do people make any license? Never mind console games. Do they make any licensed games anymore? Is that like a dead art? This dungeon is actually pretty short. Unless this is like a trick, why can't why can I not go up there? Do I have to go there from above or something? They're on mobile mostly. Uh that makes sense. Cause they're allowed to be shitty if you make them on mobile. What's the last uh, license game that you can remember? Let's say light. Let's say based on either a single series or a single movie, because that's too easy. That's like Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. That's a very obvious answer. But what other ones are there that are based on movies? Oh yeah, a Peppa Pig game where you can make a Peppa Pig OC. Oh, that's fast. That is fast. You know what? I have milk. It just occurred to me. Just now. He did the thing. He did the taunt. <sighs> Was the Peppa Pig game any out? Oh, any good? I know that's a really odd game. Odd, odd game. Odd question to ask about a, a video game like that, but. Oh yeah, DC Hero Girls game. Is the, all right, that's a better question, I think. Is the Lego, or the Lego, is the DC Girls game any good? And is the show any good? Other than having good character designs. Got it. But why Princess Ruto? Uh, because that's why we're here. I, I don't know if I'd consider uh, Lego games at this point to be licensed. Obviously they are, but they've proved themselves since the beginning really, that they can make pretty good games. So at this point it just kind of feels like they're part of the video game family. Yeah, the DC Girls game looks um, interesting. I don't know what genre it is or what, but the graphics are decent. Also, there's a Smurf game, and its graphics look really, really good. And I don't like Smurfs. And I don't... <laughs> I don't know why I would play it, but I'm intrigued to play it. Just because it looks way better than it should. Oh, oops. Are you supposed to be able to see the outside of the map here? Shit. What does he do when he do that? Does he turn around? Oh, it gives you- okay. I should know these things as someone who's played this game before. But it's like a- it's like a slot machine, kind of. Oh, not really, as it turns out. 
Oh, it's not like a slot machine at all. Yeah, no, this boss uh, could be a little bit better. Maybe if I... I think the spikes are unnecessary, honestly. Can we agree on that, at least? Oh. Okay. She's not that bad. The, is that a mini boss? I don't remember. I feel like that shouldn't be a mini boss if it is. Cause why didn't it give me the the teleport in the in the heart container? Am I big stupid or something? This. What's he eating? That was the mini boss. Oh god. I was gonna say, I got distracted. What's the last licensed game that you, uh, played? The last one that I played was probably, uh, just Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. <laughs> on the top here. Um, I guess both. What's what's your most uh What's the one that you played last even if it wasn't uh, recently released. What did I just... Oh, it just opened something that night. Where is this spider? Oh, it's down there. I can do this, right? There's got to be, I got to be able to hit this, right? Oh. 
The last one you played was Harry, Lego Harry Potter years one through four on DS. I think that's the one, actually, there's a few series that I didn't really touch on uh, in Lego form. That's Indiana Jones and actually I won't even see it. There's so many, there's so many Lego games now. So I guess a better way of putting it is Lego Star Wars is the only one I really touched. And the first Lego Batman. That one was really good. I'm sure the rest of the Lego Batman games are... are didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. I'm sure the rest of the Lego Batman games are fine, but the first one... It's just really good for me. I was actually looking for the full soundtrack on YouTube to play it like, uh, you know, as my intro music, my starting soon music, and I can only find it in separate videos in like a playlist form. And the problem with that, at least that I have personally with that, is that, uh, Is that could lead to, you know, ads interrupting the, the music, which is a no-no if you're doing an intro. Fuck. Lego Dimensions in some form. In some accessible form. Because that is a really cool concept. And I wanted all the sets. Or I wanted a lot of the, you know, the sets that they do. But... I was at the point where my money was spent on bigger and better things. I actually don't remember, because I'm pretty sure when LEGO Dimensions came out, I probably already had a job. So I don't know what I was... I don't know what I... I think most of my money was just saved. Because my stepmom and my dad were like... You're gonna be making some money at the shop. Um, you should save a lot of it. Uh, they, their, their advice was, oh god. Their advice was to save half, half of what I earned. And I did do that for a while. And I still do save a lot of it, but when I want to spend money on something, I just spend it, you know. Speaking of, I uh, I got my tax form from work today, so hopefully I'll be able to find my uh, information that I need in order to set up my donate button down here. So that would be cool. That doesn't mean you guys have to donate, it's just it's just a cool thought for me to have that uh, option. 
some money. Some money. And that obviously means I'm gonna be setting up the, uh, you know, the little videos. I don't know what they're called. When people subscribe and stuff. Little videos that pop up. There's probably a specific term for them. And I'm just small pebble brain. Why is she making an anime face? <laughs> You're late. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Okay. You're too late. So I was talking about Blue's Clues at work last week or so. Can you imagine talking about Blue's Clues at work? I think what I was doing in general... I'm just curious what pe people's favorite uh, puppy from Blue's Clues is. I think when I was... When I watched it, I just liked Blue because she was the main character. And the other ones just kind of showed up sometimes, so I couldn't really... I didn't have the brain capacity or the heart capacity to... To like these other characters that barely show up. <laughs> Who are your favorite puppies from Blue's Clues? There's Blue, there's uh, Magenta, there's Green, I think her name is. And then uh, there's the, the cat that I forgot about, Periwinkle. And then there is, I guess there's one. There's going to be an upcoming movie or something with a dog named Rainbow. And and Blue has a younger brother whose name escapes me at the time. Eludes me. Is that the term? Whose name eludes me? That's probably not the, the term. I need to get used to just saying stupid things and then being corrected after. Periwinkle. I. Did Periwinkle talk? Because I know. I remember nothing of Periwinkle. I basically just remember. Um, hey, Green. Hey, Green is not stinky. Was Periwinkle introduced like a, a little, a tiny bit later into the series than than uh, the other characters? Was he like, say, like a season two character? It might be as simple as that as to why I never really cared for him. There he goes. There he goes, monkey. God, that's... They just keep going, huh? I just hit start trying to get out of the look. Yeah, that, it might be as simple as that. He was introduced uh, just a little bit later, so... My baby brain doesn't remember. Or stopped watching at that point. Oh god. Why does this map look like a man's face? You see what I'm saying? I'm like his, the guy's eyebrow. Look. I'm gonna make him angry. He's fucking pissed right now. He's fucking... He's livid right with you right now. For not seeing the face. God, is he angry right now? He's worried. He's worried. 
<laughs> Don't XD at that. That's not worth an XD. That was at least worth a, a squeak. The wind at this area is kind of cool because it makes it a little, little creepy. For my most precious possession, help you in your quest. E uh, yeah. Sure did. Oh god. I like right clicked. I was scared I broke something there. I right clicked and it it like closed the it minimized the game. So I have the three jewels. The three gels. What else did you guys watch growing up? What else? I'm trying to remember what else I watched growing up. I remember Blue's Clues. You know, Spongebob. I don't think a lot of my catalog was educational. I know that when I was very little, um, I think at dinner time, my brother and sister would put on, my brother and sister would put on Dragon Ball Z of all things. And it was on Toonami, I'm pretty sure. But I was so young that all I, all my memories of it are basically just, you know, the, the, the character, just seeing the characters. Which reminds me, I should play Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 on stream 2. That's one of my favorite games for no reason. It might just be for nostalgia purposes. That is good. That is good to me. So for Arthur, I have no idea why, but I knew of the existence of Arthur, but I don't think I watched it that much growing up. I know people go crazy for Arthur. Like, Peanut Butter Gamer loses mind over Arthur. I feel like Arthur fans are the most toxic and... I'm just kidding. <laughs> the most toxic and obsessed fans of any series. It's just ridiculous. It's disgusting. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I was about to say that this map looks like a face too. anime that you saw as a kid doesn't feel like anime now that makes sense to me because anime has changed so much it used to have for the most part it used to have very like i'll say it it used to have the same style it used to all have like a really similar style um so when I, when i was growing up all that I knew of anime was just all this, you know, the same face looking stuff. Yeah, anime has had a weird, a weird implementation into the Western audience. have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go answer me? Uh Bofa. So you think you could protect them from me? You got guts kid. Oh Bruh. Why didn't he laugh for so long? Oh, I'm pretty sure I loved Pokemon growing up. Now that didn't feel like anime for some reason. Or maybe that anime just hit right when I was younger because it's just so silly. 
And nowadays, uh, I think it takes itself a little more seriously, which is a shame. Because it was really funny and entertaining and, and bizarre. <laughs> and I think something about when it when it turned into Hoenn, it just got really boring. That might just be me though. I think the Hoenn region and uh, and uh, Sinnoh region were really boring. And then the Unova region had a banging theme song, and it was still pretty boring. But I would watch it for the theme song. All right, I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to his eyebrow again on this face. And I'll see if you guys see it, what I'm talking about this time. Oh, it's 109 already, so I gotta end soon. But I just wanna show you guys this face. I wanna see if I'm just crazy. So first of all, he got a big brain. He got a big cranium in the back. Um, so this is his eyebrow. The eye. The first eye is in the middle. It's the Lon Lon Ranch. You see his nose. Yeah, his nose is very clear. His other eye is like winking or it has like a scouter on it or something. It's on the, you know, the left there. And then his big eye is in the middle there. And then the back is like a big, you know, big brain back there. With like, it almost looks like a heart with arteries too. So his brain is like a heart kind of. But he's, he's, he's livid. He's livid with you. And then he has a little mouth, like a little, whoop, like a little, whoop, 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 little, you know what I'm talking about? A little, like a little, little circle, little Kirby mouth. The top of his head is really weird. Like in my brain, I think I chopped that part off and then just has the weird background part. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the Temple of Time. I'm going to become a big grown adult. And then I will call it there. This game would be phenomenal. In HD, just saying. I'm going to say that with a lot of the games I play. fire thing oh she th I forgot she threw that what is even what makes this better than the other one does this actually do anything that the other one doesn't do I have to get this is this a requirement I'm gonna look that up is the ocarina of time a required item is the ocarina of time a required item. It's blue, that's pretty cool. But the one I have now is a gift. Optimal equipment guide. Fairy Ocarina is mandatory. Um, sorry, there's a lot of scrolling. Um, some last errands. What part would this be? Not Kakariko. Hyrule Castle? It, 
uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> it doesn't look like it says. It just says fairy ocarina on here. This is stupid. None of these guides make any actual sense. Fine. I'll pick it up just in fucking case. Just, yeah. Just right here. Very cool. So is every rainforest cafe just closed? Oh, you needed to learn this song. That okay. Maybe that's a requirement. Have you guys ever been to Rainforest Cafe? Cause that place is cool. The one that I went to had a, a big fountain of Atlas holding up the Earth, and it was really cool. It was dimly lit, as any forest should be. And then, every like 15 minutes or so, I don't know how long it actually was, the monkeys would all freak out. They'd go ape shit, so to speak. They'd, they'd rock your world as you were eating food. And there were little, uh, Little fish tanks that line some of the walls. There, w there were walls, I think, just made of fish tanks. So that's pretty dope. Maybe it was hard to take care of all those real monkeys that would freak out all the time. And maybe it was hard to take care of all those fish and, and, and the atlas holding up the planet Earth. Dun, 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 dun. Should I talk to the to the guard who's dead now? Or should I spare him this time? I like that when you bump into that it yeah, when you bump into things it just rattles the doors and shit. Everything it causes an actual earthquake. I'll go talk to him because I've never talked to him before. Who's this guy? Hey, what? What's wrong with loitering all around all day? Huh, kid? Uh, three things. <gasps> um, are you the boy from the forest? I finally met you. I, I have something to, to tell you. Ganondorf, the Kurudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but the princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, sorry, to the temple of time. Oh. He's already dead. Okay. That's kind of weird that they put that in because he tells you something that you clearly already know. Like, everyone knew it to the point that it was a surprise when we found out that he existed at all. Yeah, the town's theme is still playing. See, this is one part of the game that I think, uh... Little, uh... HD remake would, uh, help. You know what I mean? Really? 
there are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads. I'll try. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna see if I can remember the song. Sweet. Bazinga. Isn't this kind of a setting in melee a tiny bit, like 2%? Because in the adventure mode, you go through areas that are kind of uh, uh, Temple of Time-esque. You know, with the Triforce over the over this uh, sp uh, stone, I guess, that the sword is in. The Master Sword! That's crazy. They stole that from something. I just can't put my finger on it. Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. No. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> what if I never did that, though? Would this... Well, not if I never did it. What if Link never did that? Would would it be good ending? Question mark? The chosen one. <gasps> Whoa. I can see the line where your symmetrical uh, textures are falling, spreading apart from. Yes. Wow, it's Ra Rauru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. Boring. Uh, this is the chamber of sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light situated in the very center of the sacred realm. It's the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. Wow. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Silksy, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Navi seems to be happy about this now. So, did Navi age too, technically? Is that a thing that happened? I never thought about that. Does she age or does she... I guess she does have to age, but was she sealed away as well? I still have to play uh, Link to the Past. 
Allegedly, that's uh, basically this game, but 2D and, you know, before this game. Is that worth playing, though, after playing Link Between Worlds? Yes or no? And why did they remake Link's Awakening, but they didn't remake Link to the Past? Or Zelda 1. Or Zelda 2. Link to the Past is pretty good. But doesn't Link Between Worlds take that formula and modernize it? Or is it different enough for them both to be separately enjoyable? Find the other sages. Save Hyrule. I would love to stream that looks kind of bad. I would love to stream Link Between Worlds, but uh, last time I tried it on the uh, on Citra, it it just straight up crashed. I think so. I'm gonna have to find a way to get it working on Citra. I have to get it Citra rated. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think uh, A Link Between Worlds is one of the... I said this about almost every Zelda game. But, uh... Link Between Worlds is, is one of the best Zelda games. The story... See, there are Zelda games that are great story-wise and gameplay-wise, but... Um, Link Between Worlds story is really interesting. And I think you should at least consume the... Uh, the lore, if nothing else. Like, watch a playthrough or something if you don't want to play it. The only Zelda game that I didn't really enjoy of what I've played was uh, Twilight Princess. But everyone loves that one, so. And I'll probably end up streaming that at one point and seeing if I can actually progress further than uh, th like two or three dungeons in. Cause that's as far as I've been able to get. She got a, she got a, like a mega mind brain going on. She got that mega mind skull going on. Sheik's probably got the best song in the, in the game. That's hard to say, though, because uh, this and Majora's Mask have some banging soundtracks. So what's really masterful about this game is even after you become Adult Link, there's still things you have to do as Kid Link. They could have just completely, uh, you know shut that half of the game down and people would have probably criticized it because what's the point of you pulling the sword out and going into the future if uh if you're not going to go back to the past and they thought about that let's see what i have in my inventory so just a few things yeah cool Alright, I think... Is that Sun Song? I have to find out how to do that. I think I might have missed a fairy somewhere. I'll have to figure that out. Um, 
So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this time. I'll call it a night from here. And I'll be continuing this and uh, begrudgingly continuing Emerald um, on Tuesday, because it's Thursday, right? It's actually Friday, technically. Technically speaking, for me, it's Friday right now. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys Tuesday. Thanks for coming. Uh, see ya. Bye.